Um, can I just do one thing before we start with the questions? I just want to give a shout out to David Gettleman in New York. We all know he's battling cancer right now. He's a real good friend of mine. Certainly been a part of the National Football League for a long time. So um, a lot of people here certainly know him uh, within the Raiders organization, and we're certainly pulling for him and, and his fight right now. So apologize for letting me do that, but thank you very much. Um, to your question about how we evaluate the kickers right now, it's just going to be an ongoing process. Um, we've been rotating days throughout the majority of the camp, and uh, and then we've actually kicked them on the same day once before, and we were going to do that a little bit tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. So, But it's been a good competition. Um, Giorgio's been in the league a while, bounced himself around, and really competed his butt off. And then, you know, the young guy's got a lot of talent, and uh, he just hasn't played a lot of football, so it should be a good competition. Why is that an effective approach for you guys as coaches, just to give each guy a day to focus on handling all the reps? Well, it's, it's really it's kind of advantageous to us because we can have guys kick every single day. If we went on the same day, then that next day we'd have to have off from field goal. So it's a little bit of an advantage for us protection-wise. But for them, they also can gauge their rest period every other day, and they can do the same thing throughout the summer. We'd like to try to do the same thing throughout training camp. It's kind of the same way we would, we would do it during the season. You know, we don't kick two days in a row during the season, so we try to keep the same schedule um, during the training camp. Obviously, you guys track how the figures are doing thus far, but does it really pick up in terms of evaluation, evaluation in preseason, or is that, is that going to have a huge termination? Or would you like to know before then who your kicker is? Oh, I think we're going to, you know, I believe we'll, we'll go into some of the preseason games for sure and give them both an opportunity to kick in game like situations. We'll try to create as many situations in practice as we possibly can, uh, certainly when we get to pads. So I think it's a process and everything matters. You know, we do a big indie set. Um, Giorgio today had 11 uh, kicks before he got over to the team, six kicks, and he made all 11. I think he made all six. You know, we came back at the end and he missed those last two, but they were, yesterday they were two big ones, just like uh, Eddie kicked and Eddie made one of the two. So right now they're, they're nip and tuck. When one guy misses two, the other guy makes them all. The next day, that guy misses two and the next guy makes them all. So it's just one of the deals. Eddie really hasn't been kicking footballs for all that long in his life. How are his mechanics and how much can you work with a kicker's mechanics and without making him too uncomfortable? Yeah, great question. Um, the first part of that is you're right. He hasn't kicked a lot of footballs, but he's kicked a lot of soccer balls. And, um, you know, my experience being around those guys, they, they kind of know how to kick. Um, and I, I, I never proclaim to be a kicking coach in any way, shape, or form. So I'm, I'm not going to try to change anyone's kicking style or motion, just like I would not change anyone's throwing motion if I was coaching quarterbacks. But what we try to do is we do a lot of film work, and then we do a lot of meeting time. And in that meeting time, they can explain to us um, what's good about their kick, and then when it's bad, why it's bad and what's bad. So I can learn a lot about them and help them in the parts that are good and have coaching points about the parts that are bad um, and not be in position to change them or to break them down and to rebuild them up into this some kind of super kicker. So I'm really learning a lot more about Giorgio, about what he thinks is good and bad, and a lot more about Eddie, what they think are good and bad. And um, that's really been my approach all through coaching the National Football League. And I've been around a lot of good kickers, you know, guys I've learned a lot from. I've learned a lot from Martine. I've learned a lot from, certainly from Dan Bailey and Nate Keating and Nick Novak. I've been fortunate to be around a lot of those good players. And I've showed those guys tape of some of those players. And they can pull the things out that they think can help them and use them in their style. But we're not going to try to change anyone. We're going to try to let them coach us a little bit. And then I can help them on the things that are good and bad according to what they're talking about. So. Uh, Johnny obviously has familiarity holding for Eddie, holding for a right foot kicker. How's he been working with the lefty on times, alternating days as well? Johnny's been outstanding holding for both, I, and I've never really had that before. I haven't had a, a lefty and a righty before in a camp, and so he's been outstanding. Um, when I went to work him out, I asked him to do both, and uh, it was pretty natural for him. You know, he's been a catcher his whole life in baseball. And, and uh, so I think he has a little naturalness to him about getting in that kind of awkward position of putting a, put himself in a holder stance. But he's really worked hard at it. He's got over 400 reps um, just since he's been here on uh, holding for both. So it, it just, I, mean, I can't explain it. I thought there would be a big uh, issue with it, but it's, it's been an easy transition for him. He's really done a lot of work at it. And to some degree, that has a little bit to do with the righty and lefty, who kicks on one day and who kicks on the other. So 
the, if the lefty's kicking on this particular day, we do all the beginning stuff of all of our work is done for the lefty. Then when he's done with his set, then we'll work the righty, and then we flip it when it's when it's Eddie's turn being the righty. So, but he's really done a great job, and it's the first time I've had the experience of being around a guy flipping and doing both. So. What was it about Johnny, whether it was on his college tape or your workout interaction with him, that made you kind of think, that's the guy that I want? Um, to some degree, all of the above. Uh, we thought he was really athletic um, on tape, and he, the thing he did really well was direct the ball. Did a good job of putting the ball outside the right numbers or putting the ball outside the left numbers, which is kind of a, a staple for our um, scheme is to be able to direct the ball right and left. And we thought he did a really good job with that in college. He was really athletic and he was really good hand to kick time. So catch the kick. Uh, you can kind of see the speed of his hands. I think a lot of that has to do with certainly his baseball background. Um, but he's big, uh, physical guy. Again, really athletic, really good hand time, and the ability to, to direct it. So we feel like there's a lot of natural ability there that certainly we're willing to work with. Yeah, Ryan Spencer, uh, for you in, in Dallas, how, how much of a voice did you have in, in bringing him here, and, and uh, what do you like about him as a um, Love Ryan, and uh, you know, I, I, my, my voice isn't very loud. It just uh, goes to the right person, you know, and uh, or I should say the right two people. But we're excited to have Ryan, and he's in competition at receiver as well as the return game. Uh, he had a good rookie year. He's had some snaps, but uh, he knows he's in a competition both at receiver and the return game, and we'll see how it plays out. Were you surprised at all Eddie felt to you outside the draft? John said you guys were pretty close to drafting him. It, it was certainly a conversation uh, throughout the draft process, and and um, so we had three kickers. Uh, excuse me, we had three punters rated that we thought would get drafted. It went that way, and we had two kickers that we personally thought would get drafted, and one got drafted, and, and Eddie was still there. So we feel fortunate that we got a chance to get him, regardless of how we got him. But uh, I know Coach talked about costing us a lot of money to get him, um, but we're just glad we got him. It's it's been a good competition. You worked out. Johnny, I assume, on the same day you worked out, Eddie, same field, same We time. did. We did. At yeah. any point during that, did you think to yourself, shoot, we, we, let's get them both? Well, I, you know, again, we, we – uh, we all go through the process, and I, I got a chance to work out other kickers and a chance to work out other punters. And the, I think the thing that was impressive for us about – I was there with some other coaches from some other teams. So the thing that was impressive about Eddie on the workout is a real windy day. And, and uh, I th Eddie came out on the field, and we thought he was going to go through this long warm-up process. And, you know, he kicked about four balls, and he looked and said, hey, does that one count? And well, Are you ready? He goes, well, yeah, I'm ready. And he just started kicking. So it, it wasn't a long process. And, and um, again, maybe to the point of he hasn't played a lot of football. you know. So he, he was ready to go in a hurry. And it was an impressive day working. I was there with two other coaches. And I think we, were all, we all left impressed with both of those guys.